What's up everybody and welcome to the last episode of our Christmas in Germany series and we are in Stuttgart. This isn't the largest city in Germany and it's not the most famous city in Germany but it's absolutely worth a visit. We've already walked through the main Christmas market here and I gotta say it could be one of our favorites. Stuttgart has one major Christmas market here right in the heart of the city and we're gonna get to it but first there's a street we have to take you down. So our first stop is technically a fail, but at least we knew that this time. We were at a place called Schlossplatz, and normally every year there's a massive festive light show that takes place, but unfortunately this year it's canceled. Like I said, we knew that ahead of time, but we still wanted to point it out. If you're looking for really good lights, then walk down the Konigstrasse, because every day between 4 p.m. and 11 p.m., there are trees that are lit up all down the main shopping thoroughfare. This street's the perfect introduction to the Stuttgart Christmas market, and what better way to enjoy the walk up to a Christmas market than with a street lined with lights? There are around 110 10 trees with lights on them and it gives off a really dreamy vibe. Okay guys, now it's time to check out the Stuttgart Christmas Market. This market takes place across various areas throughout the main part of town, but the center of it all is located at Marktplatz. This Christmas Market was a little bit difficult to find a lot of facts about, but after doing some digging, I learned that there are a few unique things that you have to see here. To start it all off, let's talk about this tree. Like most Christmas markets we visited, the tree is kind of like the beating heart of the Christmas Market because it's really hard to miss and it's a great point of reference if you're looking to meet up with people or if you're just looking for a great picture. is something a little bit outside of the main part of the market, but it's definitely worth checking out. Well, that was unexpected. There's a little band over there playing in the corner. But that's the cool thing about Stuttgart is this market has a lot of things that we couldn't really find online that we're just kind of discovering as we go. So the first thing we really wanted to come check out was an advent calendar that's in the windows of the market hall. Unfortunately, we've walked over here and uh, it's not the case this year. I'm not sure why they've not started it up, but nonetheless, hopefully next year it will be up and you'll be able to see the advent calendar that's in all of the windows. They're in like these perfect square shapes. Uh, so they're gonna make for a great advent calendar whenever they're up, but they're not up this year. Another thing that we had to make sure to see was the live nativity scene here. This is basically a setup of the birth scene of Jesus, except with live animals around. It's a little sheepy boy. But no live people. That, that'd be weird if like a baby was out here playing baby Jesus. It's a little cold for that. So thankfully, we just got the figurines for Jesus and Joseph and Mary. But Donkey is back there, and uh, there's some sheep too. I was not expecting that. <laughs> They're cute, but we need some glue van. These mugs, I saw them when we walked up and I was like, I have to have one. They're so cute. Oh, my hand's getting hot, sorry. Let me, let me adjust. If you've seen our other eight Christmas videos, you know we love looking for the cute mugs at all of the markets, but we also love looking for the food that is specific to that region or just that area. So we have our things that we like, but we're gonna try something new tonight too. Yeah, yeah. Malt cushion? Malt cushion? This What's one is the boil. This boil the water. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, do yeah. Do that? Okay. We'll do that. 
Oh gosh. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. If I'm being completely honest, I have no idea what this is. Trey just told me I had to get it. It's it's like a really hearty kind of like German ravioli. It's like I think it's wrapped in potatoes, but it's got meat inside. I think it's got some like diced onions inside. I really don't know what to expect, not gonna lie. But if there's one thing we've learned, it's that you really can't go wrong with German market Christmas food. No, you can't. German market German Christmas, Christmas food. market food. German Christmas market food. There we go. It is good. It's very hearty. Like it's a very hearty meal, but I really like it. <laughs> I took a big bite because I thought we weren't filming. That's pretty good. You should try this if you're ever here. I'm not gonna get it. I'm just gonna snack on hands. <laughs> also, this market, wildly underrated. We have not seen nearly as much information out there on the internet about this market as there should be. Stuttgart's awesome. So I paid a fan, which is a deposit for this cup. I think it was like eight euros, but it wasn't eight euros. Cause it was only like 10 euros for this whole thing. So it was like a three euro deposit for the cup that I have to return along with my receipt but I got a uh, bowl or a cup full of Spatzel. And I got it without the green onions because y'all know I hate onions. I'm so excited. It's delicious. Trey's dancing, so the food really can't be that bad. I think that's another thing that we've learned at these Christmas markets. If you find something you like, you might not see it another place. I haven't seen Henbrot in a while. We hadn't seen Spotzel in a while, so it makes sense that we see it here and we absolutely get it. All right, Hannah, are you ready to climb? After this meal? <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> So as you've seen, the advent calendar was a fail. But the third thing that is really unique to this market, I don't think is gonna be a fail. So if you saw our last video from Munich, you saw an excellent view of the Marienplatz from above. Well, we are in luck here in Stuttgart. There is also an excellent viewpoint of the Christmas markets here. It was good. Oh, is it good? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we are inside of the art museum and we were thinking that we would have to pay, but there's a restaurant up there. So the guy told us that we can just go up to, like we're going to the restaurant, take a photo and go back down. This is our win for the day. Yeah. This is our win. Wow. And it was so free. <laughs> no, right? I think the craziest part about being up here and like seeing it all from up here is it's really hard to see all of it because there's so much. We walked through this for probably what? Two hours? Yeah. It's over so many different parts of this area of town that it really just stretches on for miles. You and can't you can see even, all the little you, side streets with yeah. all the little stands. It's definitely worth coming up here and seeing though. Oh sure. my gosh, yeah. Can and it's mention that? and it's fall free. <laughs> What's your biggest takeaway from visiting Christmas markets in nine different cities in Germany? We kind of laid it out in this video. Not everything is gonna go to plan. The internet isn't always correct, but there's always going to be glue vine, but you should get it at the places that have the cutest mugs and also are on the outside of the Christmas market, like outside the center. Yep. And then also, if you find food you like, you might as well stock up on it because you don't know if you're gonna find it somewhere else. I can't believe this Christmas market series is over, but if you've been watching since our first video that we filmed up north in Hamburg, then you know that we have a 10th special bonus Christmas market video in store. What better way to cap a full year of travel and a month of Christmas markets in Germany than visiting our 30th country of Switzerland? Got my own snowplow. <laughs> you see this brave searing heat in Tirana, Albania, and pouring rain in Belgrade, Serbia, and blustery crazy winds in Aarhus, Denmark. But I feel like we're finally checking off snow. That's gonna be cool. We'll see y'all in Zurich. Sorry, Hannah. 
I'm looking at you right now. You're very pretty.